Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Friday. It is almost the weekend again. Well today we are going to be starting these beautiful, beautiful roses. And I'm not real sure which direction this all goes, but I'm starting in the upper left hand corner. And I can't, I guess it goes this way. So we're right here on this one. So that is where we're going to start and I'm using 817, put that up there. Yeah, I finally got this folded down enough that I could work on it. So how is everybody doing? Is everybody having a great day? I hope. Well, yesterday turned out to be nice and warm and sunny and like I said, there were some clouds, but I mean, it wasn't like it rained or anything. It looked a little bad over the mountains, but nothing down here. So I'm just absolutely thrilled. Do that, do that. That way y'all can see what's going on, huh? There we go. And I'll pull it this way just a bit. Oh goodness, yeah. So it is Friday, so I have to go and do laundry. Yay! I know, the crowded crowd is ecstatic, aren't you? Yeah, it's a big highlight of my whole day. What can I say? And not a clue with what I am going to do the rest of my day. So, yay! guess I should have crunched this up a little bit. It's a little stiff. But I wanted to start this and see how good the colors were and how it would all work. I think today I'll start the lotus and that way the Tai Chi lotus and then by Tuesday we'll see what it looks like. I worked on one of the tiger ones last night for a while and didn't watch anything too exciting on Netflix. Just kind of sat there and stitched. I did go out and sit on the porch for about 20-25 mm, minutes and the sun finally went down but it then it started to get a little chilly so I came in so maybe I can go out again today and sit on the porch when there's like shade, but it's warm. So we'll see. We will see. But that sun last night when I was sitting out there was, if I looked up, it was shining right in my eyes. And then it went down, and then it was cold. I'm like, okay, never mind. But we did run around in the so-called sunshine yesterday, and it wasn't hot or anything. It was quite nice, very pleasing, not even windy. Oh, goodness. What is the problem? It's kind of a thick canvas for some reason. Some of them are thicker than others, and this is a big one. I mean, it's, let me see what it said. What did it say? 60 by 85. So you wonder why I had a problem getting it all folded down so that I could stitch. <laughs> There's your problem. Yep. But I just needed something with some big stitch areas, you know. So don't know what else I'll be working on today. I gotta get out another big bag and make it up for all the rest of the Tai Chi stuff. Oh, goodness gracious. I got my thimble on because I jammed my finger one too many times over 
yesterday and the day before. So now we have a hole again. Yep, I have a permanent hole in my finger. Uh, speaking of holes, we were driving down my daughter's road to get to the main road and it's a uh, it's got tar not tar what do you call it oh my goodness asphalt on it and you know so it's like a dirt road that they covered in asphalt and as we're driving down the road a little ground squirrel popped up out of a hole in the uh, asphalt we didn't run him down he was on the side and my daughter goes oh yeah he does this all the time I'm like how did he get through all the asphalt I mean there's probably what two possibly three inches of asphalt on the road yeah and there was a hole we slowed down it was about what is that four inches around I don't know if when they poured it it just didn't cover this hole it's quite bizarre but yeah there he was just popped his little head out it reminded me that that game that the kids used to play when we go to a place like oh Chuck E. Cheese's or I don't know what else they called those kind of places they had a game you know where the things kept popping up and they'd hit them with these little hammers you know and you had if you missed hitting them then you know you lost a point or a turn or whatever I don't know how that all worked out but yeah that's what it reminded me of we just laughed it was so funny because that was like the last thing that we expected to see pop out of the road don't have many snakes around here so we don't have to worry about that our biggest concern is being out there in the late fall or the spring where the uh, mountain lions are at you know so other than that I mean and we've never seen one in any time we've ever been out there so yay we saw a moose that was about as dangerous as it got we kept our distance though but uh fun times but we usually never see any wildlife usually we see more deer in town than we do when we're out like you know hiking around or she's doing her gold panning in the, the water and that kind of thing never see deer elk none of that but we have deer that I swear they live in town and they they're just on the streets in town and they've even crossed the main road we'll call it highway if you will that runs through town and everybody slams on their brakes and waits for the deer to come across everybody goes on yeah but i've even seen them at work over in the parking lot next to the where I works parking lot oh goodness they just walk right through the, I've had them in my backyard here in this trailer park too so it's kind of a bright red isn't it I don't know if it's showing up as bright as it is right here in person. I'm trying to get to the end so that I can get another thread. I got out, uh, I made great big huge, I think I made two racks of ribs because they had them on sale. Those, uh, I'm looking for my scissors. Uh, the baby back ribs or whatever you call they're pork ribs. Um, about oh, two months ago and I ate them as much as I could and then I put the rest in the freezer so then I just get them out like a that much of a slab like five or six or three or four you know ribs 
at a time and heat it up. So I thought, well, I'll just get that out and and I have that for dinner. So I had that last night. So I got nothing on what I am going to have today. I don't feel much feel like cooking anything. I may go buy a couple of the chicken strips and cut them up and have them on salad because I've got all that lettuce that I cut up. I don't know what I was thinking. And have kind of a salad with chicken on it. We used to get chicken tenders all the time and then we kind of quit. I started buying uh, regular fried chicken because I worked there in the deli and so I got on to bone-in chicken and not so much tenders because I like that just as well but we finally or I finally found a place that made decent fried chicken in fact we have two good places here in town for that so yeah I gotta get rid of this thread again and then we'll be off to another edge I thought this might be fun to work on because it's got some bigger areas. We'll just start up here and work our way across. Didn't get anything in the mail <coughs> yesterday, so who knows? It's just whenever it shows up, that's how it goes around here. In fact, when I got back from my daughter's, the mail lady was putting the stuff in the, the box, or boxes, I should say. So I sat there and waited for her to finish, because there's not a lot of space there, and I just give her her space and let her do her thing, and... Then I'll go check them out. Nope, nothing. So, yeah, I abruptly went home and took a nap. My daughter, she said, uh, well, my, let's preface all this. My granddaughter got a little tablet. I don't know. I think from her dad got it from somebody at work or something, thinking, you know, he might like to have it. And he gave it to my granddaughter, and it's about, mm, it's one of the smaller ones that's like four or five inches across and about eight inches down. And she can get a few things on the internet on it. So she watched my, my YouTube channel yesterday. Not yesterday, but one of the days that they were home from boys and girls club I thought that was quite funny I said did she need to take a nap afterwards she said no she just watched it for about an hour and a half and you know went from one to the other and, and then she went on to something else I was like wow amazing lord I can't watch my channel does that make sense it just feels weird. But I watch other people's channels. Well, I'm ready for them to get something new at all the stores. I've about accomplished all the Thai cheese and all the ancient women that I wanted. So, hopefully they'll have some new kits come out so I can show you something new and exciting it's about time to 
get some uh, fall things, you know, set up. So I have some fall stitching to do. I never really have stitching for certain times a year, you know. I mean, I do like, I do have some Christmas, but not a whole lot. And I have Christmas diamond paintings, that kind of thing. But other than that, no, I don't, you know, feel the desire to have all those things. But sorry, I need a drink. It's kind of nice to uh, work on things that look like fall, you know, with all those pretty golds and reds and oranges. So, very nice. I do have my autumn house. That's about as autumn-y as it gets. I should get it out again. I saw it. It's, it's over there in my... The big bag section. Yeah, we have a big bag. And I'm not going to pull those huge uh, projects out until winter because they're just too hot to deal with in the summertime. But that's okay. We got plenty to do. I just keep working a little bit on Tai Chi's and putting, you know, one or two threads in each one as I go. And then I'll go on to something else. But I thought we should start this one. It's a big one. Oh, for crying out loud, really? What is the problem? You know we have this issue, like... What in the heck? Really? Hang on. We got an issue. There we go. Okay. Wow. That was freaky. Talk, I was showing the pictures of all those Thai cheese to my daughter yesterday. And I said, oh yeah, and by the way, they got them in diamond paintings now. She's like all excited. So... We'll see where that goes. But she did like the dragons. So. She likes dragons and tigers and wolves. And that kind of thing. I guess my granddaughter, she likes wolves too. She got that little stuffed animal that she got for reading so many books. And it was a... There's a little bitty tiny wolf. It was probably mm, about the size of one of those beanie babies, maybe a little bit bigger. Maybe, yeah, it was probably a little bit bigger than a beanie baby. But uh, I forgot what she said she was gonna call it, Dagnabbit. She'd already named it before we even got out of the parking lot. I'm going to have to crunch this entire corner here because it is just so stiff. You'd think I had really dull needles the way I'm stitching today. I like these roses and peonies when they're, they've got like shades of color in them, they turn out so pretty. So, this will probably be cool. i never seen so many roses in one place in my entire life.
on you silly needle jeepers creepers I haven't had a thick canvas like this in a long time because mostly the ones that I got were this big it seemed like the bigger they were the thinner the canvas was so I don't know what this one's problem is feels like the end of the bolt it's twice as thick as any of the others that I've done okay. I wonder how many thousands of people will be at the uh, laundromat today they haven't had I went like maybe 9 10 o'clock in the morning maybe people just don't like to do their laundry that early in the day oh, come on oh crud I went the wrong way I am so sorry okay start it back thank you go. It's a little too close. So sorry. Make it I mean to make y'all dizzy there. I look up and it's all blurry. What can I say? Some days. Alright guys, well I think that's gonna be it for today gonna keep doing that red and finish maybe just you know like work on finishing this rose and then go on to like the pink probably take another whole strand to get through that red all right guys well thank you for joining me if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell that way you'll know when my next video comes out Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.